All right, we are ready to go. Welcome back to MDLR Fishing, everyone. It's a gorgeous day out here on the upper Texas Gulf Coast. We're fishing in a local hot spot, uh, protected by some high southwest winds. This area is notorious for holding some really good sized speckled trout this time of year. So we're gonna be slinging some minnow imitations, maybe some bottom bouncers, the usual stuff that we like to use here on the channel. So uh, hopefully there's gonna be one or two catches in store. We'll probably get some dinner out of it. Let's see what happens. I'm already marking fish. I don't know if it's gonna be bait or not, but we're gonna start off with the paddle tail that y'all saw me rigged earlier. And uh, we got nice heavy weight on there. Brand new fishing line, feeling good about this setup. We gotta get 13 feet down, so that should get there pretty quick. Nice calm water, very subtle twitches, bringing it up off the bottom, going about five or six feet I'd imagine, and then letting it settle back down. That's what I'm gonna start out with, fishing the bottom, because that's where all the fish are being marked right now. I think that's gonna be the end of this lure. I haven't really found a hook that is gonna be able to hold this lure right here. I mean, it's got such a massive hollow body that the jig heads, they just really ruin the plastic itself. And uh, I've gotta figure something out. The, the one that works the best is like a uh, a corkscrew, the, what, what do they call those hooks? Uh, owner makes, I think everybody makes a, a different variety of it, but it's got a little corkscrew, a wire that you actually, it's a twist lock, that's what I'm looking for. That's worked the best, but it's a swim hook, so it comes up through over here, but uh, that's been the best working one. I think that's what we're gonna have to go to in order to use these right here, but we're gonna switch it out. Uh, I'm not gonna continue casting this whenever I can't get the desired like action that I want from it. So we're gonna throw the shrimp back on and see what that will do for us. Yeah. There we are. Nice little speckled trout. Oh wait, that's a sand trout. It's a start. Oh my gosh, he is ice cold. <laughs> Little fish popsicle. I'm pretty sure they would see it, but I mean, it's la it's the later in the season, so theoretically the shrimp would be a little bit larger. Did you grab the big savage gear? Yeah. Just saw a nice little blow up at the surface. Bait fish going airborne all over the place right there. So something is chasing those guys all the way up to the top. We're almost there, so we may get lucky. I'm, ho I'm hoping it's like a sign of things to come. If we can see that kind of a blow up more often than that may mean the fish will start becoming active it's been very quiet right now not many bites we've already entered the prime target area about 20 minutes ago and i've just been slowly trying to cruise this to, oh there's a thump bait thief um slowly cruising through the area in hopes of find oh here we go we are in the fish right now they are directly underneath us unmistakable we'll film it really fast to show y'all what i'm talking about these arches are iconic fish oh wrong right there y'all see that dark red stuff that means it's a dense body on the uh, traditional sonar and inside scan is showing them to the left hand side of us that is what we're looking for whenever we want to find fish. I'm hoping it's not a school of sand trout, but yeah, we, we should be in them right now. I was marking quite a few fish right here. 
There he is. Oh, speckled trout. That's what we want to see. I don't think this guy is quite a keeper yet, but that's what we want to see. Uh, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Oh, he is an ice pop as well. Small little guy loving the shrimp. He's a nice stocky fat fella eating really good. Yeah, they're down there. It was a nice school of them. Like very solid arches. Uh, slowly letting it fall to the bottom. There's a thump. <laughs> sand trout. Yeah, super healthy though. Here we go. The one thing that all these fish that I've caught so far have in common is they're at the bottom and they are super cold. I'm, I'm still marking the fish. They're not as dark, but at least we're still marking some. I mean, they've got some good size on the arch, but I would love to see them really dark marks because that just means some nice size fish. Uh-oh, 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 he's got it, he's got it. Is that a red? It's fighting like one. No, a nice speckled trout. There we go. I think that's our first keeper for the day, yo. I'm gonna spot lock right here before going any further. What we did right there was just change the depth. I was at around 13, 12, 13 feet. I came into the nine foot depth area and I think we just found the ticket. Oh, this is a healthy speckled trout. Super healthy trout right here in my hands. That's what we were coming out here for. Get us a nice dinner. 16 incher. Yes. That's the first keeper right there of the day. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for providing us with a dinner. There we go. That's, oh my gosh, he just got off. Notorious head shake. That was gonna be another keeper. I was trying to get a good look at him and then I let loose on my tension. So right there on that cast sign, I cast more towards the bank and pulling the shrimp off of the bank and then he bit as it was coming off, like hitting the drop somewhat because I'm still in 10 feet, but I'm casting more towards the bank and then letting it go down and bouncing it out to the open. <laughs> I, I got it. <laughs> He hit the power line. He was just flying without looking at the power line. That's where I want to be. Right here, this little piece. They've got an, enough grass to kind of protect them from all the swells that are being generated by the wind and push through here. They can just take refuge right there come out, ambush any bait that's getting blown with that wind. But nobody's home. Nobody's home. That's going to be the end of our trek as far as how far we're going to push out. I'm turn right back around and uh, just make our way back to the lagoon. That's where we were having the bulk of our luck anyway, so 
Let's turn around. Oh, thump. Has he got it? I don't know if he's got it or not. I think so. Yeah, he's got it still. Yeah, he's definitely got it. <laughs> oh, yes. What do we got? Tiny little redfish. The shrimp lure, my gosh. Oh, got him, son. He feels like a thief. Maybe a red? I don't know. Uh, it's a tiny red. Got him closer towards the bank. He sure is a pretty one. That blue tail. All right, so since you're catching them two in a row with the paddle tail, I'm gonna switch over to mine, put the shrimp away. Oh, got him. That might be a speckled trout. Oh, it's a flounder. It's not gonna end well for this fella. There we go, we'll see you later, buddy. He was bleeding because we uh, nicked his gill. There's not much I can do about that one. I set the hook immediately when I felt the thump, so that kinda, he had that in his favor. Hopefully uh, he survives. Swam down pretty strong. Nice, little nursery slam. The bite is like turned on. That's three fish that we've caught like back to back to back. Christian just got two. Go over to his channel, check out what he's doing, and you'll see why dinner is going to be so great tonight. I will link his channel down below in my video description, so y'all check that out. Plus, a lot of the gear that I am using is going to be listed down there. So if you're on mobile, just scroll on down. If you're on desktop, then uh, do what you need to do. Oh man, do what you need to do to check that out. You can answer, a, like if you have questions about the gear and stuff like that, uh, all of that's listed there. Let's fix this lure. Continue pushing on. We're almost out of real estate and we're gonna pack things up and head on back to the house. Enjoy the fruits of our labor. We're gonna get these guys filleted up and do some surf and turf. So salt and pepper for the steaks. I think we're gonna do the same thing for the speckled trout. So let's go get the grill fired up. And then by the time these guys are filleted, we should be ready to go. going for probably two minutes on each side and uh, we should be good and ready to go. I haven't had grilled speckled trout 
much less grilled fish in a long time. So that smoke flavor, I'm looking forward to it. I don't think these are gonna take long at all. But you know what, being, it still looks like it's not even cooked yet. So we'll give them a full four minutes. Ready or not, they're coming off. I gotta get the steaks off for sure. I don't wanna overcook them. Yeah, this guy's done now. I mean, it cooks so fast. It just needed the heat. So we'll just spread the fire all the way out. flavor. Thanks so much for watching y'all. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us that thumbs up. And for those of you not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button, ring the notification bell icon so that YouTube will let you know when I drop a new video. If you want to help to support the work that I'm doing, I'm also on Patreon. Until next time, tight lines y'all. <laughs>